I started trying to build muscle when I was 15 years old and I discovered some weights and I started lifting the weights. I knew how to do only a few exercises, but by the time school reopened, my biceps had already grown. So all the students were like, Eddie, how did you do this? How did you do this? Can you help us? So I started helping people build muscle. The only movement I knew to do was um, concentration curls for biceps and then dumbbell press on the floor. The dumbbells were made from concrete and empty tins of food. At the beginning of my bodybuilding career, when I decided to become a bodybuilder, I learned it from a man called Johnny Fuller, who I think learned it from somebody called Vince Gironda. Now, back then, muscle building was all about nutrients. We went around chewing things like desiccated liver tablets. We were told eggs were the best protein. So I was eating about 38 eight eggs every single day. I was taking um, supplements like coenzyme Q10, things to support your immune system. I was also taught about a diet called the fat burns fat diet. You eat high fat and high protein and vegetables all throughout the day. And then before you train, you nutrient time your carbohydrates around your training time. Basically, the idea was that it's true that insulin is an anabolic hormone, but when you have elevated insulin in your body, you're preventing many processes. You're actually thwarting many processes in your body. So what we did was we had high fat. My first meal, I used to have cheese and I'd have about eight eggs for my first meal. The second meal, I had about 200, 300 grams of maybe cooked whey, any animal protein. I usually, when I couldn't afford it, when I was really young, young student, I'd, I'd buy tuna and then I started buying chicken, but with the skin on. You know, even when I bought, used the tuna, I made sure there's enough olive oil on there. And then with that, I had some more fat choices. The fat choices were nuts, avocados, olives, cheese, even bacon, it, all those things. Sometimes I had butter. Idea was to reduce your insulin level. Make sure that there's not much insulin in your body throughout the day. The only time that insulin was essential is around your training time. And that's what we did before training. I'd have carbs. And the carbs sources were sweet potato was very good. Wild rice was very good. Black rice. I'd never even heard of black rice until Patrick Nichols and Johnny Fuller told me about black rice. We were told to stay away from pasta because pasta was processed. Now, that's what I learned at the beginning of my bodybuilding career. If you bear in mind that almost all the magazines were owned by the supplement companies, Muscle & Fitness, Flex Magazine. So slowly, the information about whey protein and casein and all of that, we all went that way. So that way works, even though it's not the most efficient way. I did that. I also bought into that, I think six meals a day, contrary to what I was told at the beginning. I was in six meals a day, high carb, lean protein. That worked, but I constantly had knee joint problems elbow problems, wrist problems, constantly tired. I was constantly hungry. I was having to shove a lot of food in, about 10,000 calories, because it was about calories. But then later on, when I retired from bodybuilding and I started training people, eventually I realized that what I learned at the beginning of my bodybuilding career was more effective. So now, if you're trying to build muscle, here's my advice for you. This is what I want you to do. And my muscle building ebook explains this. It makes sure your diet is high fat, high protein. Make sure that your protein is the best protein. Take an egg at the top and then obviously chicken and all of that. You know, red meat is good, but make sure there's fat in it because your body needs energy and protein to build muscle. You can get the energy from fats as well as you can get, get from carbs. You eat the carbs before and after training, keeping your insulin level steady throughout the day. The carbs only come in before and after training. You can have four meals, there are times when I had three meals, sometimes when I had four, because I was a nurse and it was difficult to get meals in. Sometimes I couldn't eat at all because I used to do a lot of shifts. I needed the money. Sometimes I would work long hours and what I would do was raw eggs. Sometimes I'd mix it with nuts, blend it, and then drink it at work. That was not the most pleasant drink, but then I was trying to achieve something. And doing that, I built a lot of muscle. And then eventually when I started putting the carbs in, before and after training, I felt like a racehorse. What I'm trying to say is, guys, you can feel a lot better. Whether what you're doing is working or not, I want you to try this. 
this nutrient timing carbohydrates around your training and keeping your immune um, level down throughout the day and then keeping your fat intake high because fat was not the enemy. On my Insta story, I put highlights. There's so many people reporting back saying, Eddie, I'm using a muscle building ebook and it's like night and day. I'm building muscle, I'm losing fat, I'm not holding on to any fat. My joints don't ache anymore. I don't have sleep apnea anymore. I don't have these mental health issues. My skin condition is better. I don't feel bloated anymore. That's because they are eating the fats. Remember, there's nine calories in a gram of fat and four calories in a gram of carbs. So if you learn how to utilize fat more efficiently, you find that you've got an abundance of energy. The way I learned at the beginning, I eat just two meals, sometimes three, but mainly two meals. And in that meal, I eat very high fat, very uh, moderate protein, and just some vegetables, not too many. And I feel really good. I have some carbs before and after training, but not often, because I'm not really trying to build any muscle. I'm trying to just maintain what I've got. I'm telling you guys, there's a more effective way of muscle building if you know what to eat. Thank you for watching. And if you liked our videos, just give us a like and subscribe to our channel because it helps us grow so we can provide more content for you. And guys, let me know in the comments below if there's any subject that you want me to discuss. See you in the next video.